Good morning guys, today is Tuesday. It's currently 10 a.m. right now and I'm just in the street about to go get breakfast. You guys can see this is an old spa place, Maison de Spa. And a lot of places have closed down. So I'm in Antoine right now and you can see a lot of things that you know were open and they're not open anymore. Um, I just wanted to show you guys like the reality of what you know the pandemic has caused people here. But anyway, today's model, I want to focus on doing something that you always wanted to do, something that you're excited to do, try to do it today. Because one thing that I wanted to try was uh, boxing. And at my gym, they did offer boxing and I tried to do it for the first time today. So I'm very excited that I did it. And it was interesting. I like that after that, the guy actually stretched me. So the trainer is awesome. I'm going to start doing twice a week, um, kick, not kickboxing, boxing. So that's something fun that I'm trying to do and I hope you guys try to do something that is exciting to you, something you always wanted to do. So that's my goal for you today. Um, anyway, I'm about to go have breakfast at Roots. Roots is a plant-based cafe that is in Antoine. It's, um, it has smoothie bowls and a lot of healthy stuff that I haven't had in a I haven't been there in a while but they did a little renovation where they have more seating outside so I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys another restaurant that is available here if you're coming here to the Nang. so let's have breakfast why do I make things complicated why do I lose all my control oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Hey guys, so I just came back from breakfast. I'm so sorry I didn't film that much, but I ended up meeting a guy from France. It was really nice because we kind of like started talking and speaking in French. It's been so long since I don't like practice my French here. So I'm sorry if I didn't film that much of me at Roots, but it was such a fun experience. I actually wanted to stop by this place because I'm looking for a new pool. You guys know I always go to Sala Hotel, so I wanted to find another pool that I can use. And I actually found this place, which is called moon hotel apartments and it's really pretty outside and they also offer the opportunity for you guys to use the pool so definitely come here if you're looking for a drink and a fun time at the pool so let's go upstairs upstairs okay thank you ah very nice thank you Wow. Okay guys, another wonderful place to enjoy the Nang. Woo! And the beach is literally right on that side. Marble Mountain is over here. Ooh, there's some stairs. Let's go explore what is up here. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, and there's a terrace up here, so you get to see all of the name from here. Oh, guys, it's gonna it's gonna rain later. Look at that. But look, this is the beach right on that side. This is Chemailan. This is Monkey Mountain. This is the bridge. Look at this. Oh wow, so many cool places to see in the Nang. I hope you guys try Moon Apartment Hotel. I'm so happy I found another place and this one is closer to my apartment because I usually go to Sala Hotel. Or I've been like a couple of times, not so many times. So I'm all changed and ready. And she just got me my pineapple juice. Mm. Delicious. 
and this is what's really good about here is that you can go to a hotel you don't have to you can use the amenities just as long as you purchase something so at least you're supporting them and guys like i said with the pandemic so many hotels so many businesses are struggling here in vietnam so come and enjoy yourself if you live here in the nang go to the pool you know and enjoy it so it's definitely going to rain i just heard the thunder so i'm gonna go and swim and enjoy that because it's already really hot and then maybe i'll go to a coffee shop and finish some work before i have to work today let's go in the pool of um, going out like my day in general to always involve going to the pool because it's really hot and the best way I feel to like cool down is to just jump in the pool I love it like the ocean is nice but sometimes like the salt water gets everywhere you can't just go do whatever you want to do after you have to go shower and uh, yeah I can always like swim come home work later and I feel so refreshed I don't feel like the Sun is bothering me so much so yeah. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if I should be if you guys the quote of today. The quote of today is try something different. Do something that you always wanted to do or try something different. Like hey, why not just go in the pool right now? And funny enough, good thing I did that because it's about to rain. So <laughs> Hey guys, so I decided to stop at a coffee shop and may maybe I'll end up working here because it started raining and i got to put my raincoat on in the streets and it's not bad but it's definitely starting to rain if you guys don't know we are in rainy season now so yeah it's gonna be pretty rainy for months so that's why we had you know in my last like two vlogs ago you guys probably saw that there was a tropical storm here so it's the same thing so i'm stopping at this really pretty coffee shop today you know it's called water bean coffee it was just on my way so i figured might as well stop here so let's go inside This time I decided to have a nice falafel Mediterranean bowl. It's so good. So it has falafel, hummus, this is tofu, and some raisins. It's extremely delicious. So yes, perfect thing to eat on a rainy day. Let me show you guys outside because they have new seating now. So you can see the you're, there are not that many chairs before so now there's lots more sitting um, and inside you can actually find nutritional yeast you can find agave you can find even uh, apple cider vinegar and they also have some fruits there and also some kombucha so they have a lot of cool things so it's more of the Bali idea of eating smoothie bowls um, outside this is basically the place that you will find it here in the Nang for it hey guys so i just got back home now and i don't know there's nothing i can really do with the rainy weather so i figured i'm just gonna come home but before i wanted to try some coconut coffee it's been a long time since i had coconut coffee and if you guys are new to hearing about vietnam that's very popular here so one thing that i did is i stopped by and got some coconut ice cream this little coconut ice cream and i thought i would make my own coconut coffee at home because in this building that we live in they actually gifted us a coconut not coconut they gifted us a coffee maker so it looks like this oh where's the cover hold on let me get the cover okay just like this 
so how it works is really cool all you have to do is put the coffee here the coffee beans here you put this on top and then you put water and you just have to put it over a cup so if I go like this you see the coffee will just drip from here so I don't have to have a whole machine for it I think it's much simpler and then what I'll do is when I'm it's done I'm gonna add the coconut ice cream on it to make it coconut coffee so let's try it so I have the hot water and I'm actually I actually bought the measurements here too just in case I forget but I'm gonna put this over my cup so I'm putting this on top and as it says here the first thing you need to do is put the coffee in here so I have the coffee from the same brand that they gifted us here not too much because I'm only making a small amount of coffee so this amount just like half a tablespoon then I put the lid over Oops. so I'm gonna put the lid over it and now I'm gonna put the hot water not too much and then I just cover it and look at it go look at it it's so easy now I'm not a big coffee drinker I actually don't care to drink coffee but coconut coffee is delicious I like the fact that it's not a lot of coffee so just a little bit just to give you a little bit of taste of that and there's a coconut ice cream behind it so it tastes really good I'm gonna show you guys how to put it together you guys can see the coffee is done I'm gonna take the ice cream gonna stir it until it turns into a nice coconut coffee it's my first time doing this at home so let's try it now it looks like a frappuccino or something or a latte let's try it it's good but it's missing sugar and a little bit more coffee I taste a lot more of the coconut ice cream than the coffee and it's a really nice mixture when you get it at restaurants so anyway i'm gonna play around with it and kind of mix it more add a little bit more of agave okay so i added a little bit more just a little bit more coffee and I actually like the little ice cream on the side the coconut ice cream but this right here almost tastes like a caramel with a little bit of coffee on, on it so the hint of coffee with coconut that's the thing that's really what's so good about the coconut coffee so i'm gonna go enjoy this so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog day in my life today i really enjoyed going around the Nang and meeting some of you guys i met um, a french guy which we had a great conversation and another girl from seattle which was really cool as well so it's always nice to meet you guys and meet new people in general anyway i hope to see you guys next week like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one goodbye